Samsung Galaxy Zero. The latest Samsung phones are equipped with Infinity-O displays, which means that the screen occupies almost the entire front surface of the phone. Even though it's called the Infinity Display, it actually has bezels, they're just very small. After their latest innovation, the designers wanted to see how a smartphone with a truly Infinity Display would look like, and just like that, the Samsung Galaxy Zero appeared. This concept shows how designers think Samsung phones will look by 2025. It's the first truly bezel-less phone in the world. Its display rests on the back cover. As you can see, there are no buttons or connectors on the surface. The Infinity display will be equipped with Gorilla Glass 6 protection. It will have 1 terabyte of internal memory and 10 or 12 gigabytes of RAM. The device will work with either a Snapdragon or an Exynos 9830 processor. iPhone 11 Fold In late 2018 and early 2019, several folding phones were released. Different companies worldwide, large and small, are now trying to create the best gadgets using this new amazing technology. Perhaps the only major company that's not yet involved in it is Apple. However, they do plan to produce a flexible phone, but not until next year. Amidst the ongoing debate about how Apple's folding phone will look like, some designers took the liberty of sharing their vision with the world. They were inspired by insider information and rumors. The iPhone 11 Fold is one of the most successful concepts of the future phone. Existing prototypes of folding phones have a number of drawbacks. For example, the bend axis is sensitive to low temperatures, which means you could easily damage it in freezing weather. Apple specialists have already patented a solution to this problem, an integrated sensor that will monitor the air temperature and heat the bend axis, if necessary. So it is possible that foldable phones by Apple will soon become a reality and once again revolutionize the smartphone market. OLCD concept The technology you see on the screen is known as Organic Liquid Crystal Display. This unique invention expands our possibilities, both in terms of using smartphones and producing them. In fact, it is a flexible liquid screen that can be rolled if necessary. You've probably thought at some point that holding your phone in the palm of your hand is sometimes annoying. So, OLCD makes it possible to create smartphones that you can wear on your wrist like a watch. Even curved, the display remains fully functional. The English company FlexEnable developed this amazing technology. For the first time, it was shown at the MWC 2016 exhibition, but at the moment it's still only a concept. The manufacturer stressed that the quality and clarity put this screen on equal footing with the most common LCD screens, while having approximately the same power consumption rate. ZTE Hawkeye A few years ago, a smartphone that can easily change the way we use modern gadgets was introduced on the crowdfunding platform Kickstarter. The ZTE Hawkeye has one unique feature a built-in system that tracks the user's eye. Technology makes our lives easier every day by sparing us from performing even the slightest body movements. For example, the owner of the ZTE Hawkeye will have a unique opportunity to scroll through documents or web pages with a single glance. It comes with special cases that allow you to attach your smartphone to vertical surfaces. The combination of these features allows you to completely free your hands and do some other things while having control over your phone. Vivo Next Dual Screen A unique feature of the last phone that we're going to show today is the presence of two AMOLED displays. The device is based on the Vivo Next, which only had one screen and has many characteristics from its predecessor such as a Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor, a graphics controller, and the possibility to use two SIM cards. The RAM has been increased to 10 gigabytes, but the main difference is the second 5.49 inch screen.
For now, the smartphone can't determine what screen the user is using, so the user has to change the screen by pressing a special button located on the left side. And of course, both screens can work simultaneously. The two displays are supposed to be accessed using different methods. For example, the front screen with your fingerprint and the back one with Face ID. The additional screen will come in handy during video and photo shootings. All photos, including self-portraits, are taken by the powerful main camera instead of a not-so-impressive front camera. The second screen can also be used by people being photographed to look at themselves and change their poses if they want to. The 3D TOF system of the camera is equipped with an infrared sensor and promises both high-quality night shots and beautiful portraits. The additional screen will also be useful for gamers.